In today's video, I'm going to show you how to unfreeze your columns and rows here in the Google Sheets app, both on the iPhone and Android. So I actually have my Google Sheets app open right here on the iPhone, and I have some movie titles and some checkboxes next to it. Now, if you want to learn how to insert a checkbox on the Google Sheets on your iPhone, I have a separate video about this that you need to check out. I will be leaving a card at the top right corner and you can just go back to that later. So going back to our frozen rows and columns for the rows right here, I have accidentally frozen two rows instead of just one, which is supposed to be just the movie title or my header. So I'm going to undo that frozen row by just zooming in right here. Then tapping on that row number two, tap on it again until your options appear. Tap on the arrow pointing to the right to see more options. And there you have it. We have unfreeze two rows. If I select that, there you have it. That row is no longer frozen. Now I can just go back to row number one, tap on it again, then select freeze row. There you have it. Now my other problem would be I've also frozen my first row, which has hidden most of the names or the movie titles right here unless I zoom out, will then they be visible? But of course, too small for me to read. If I zoom in, they will look like this. So if I want to unfreeze that frozen column, that will be the same process. Just tap on that column, tap on it again to see your options, tap on the arrow pointing to the right, tap on it again, and select unfreeze column. And there you have it. Now we have the proper setting we only need that top header to be frozen so that when we do scroll up, we will still be able to see that header right there. And there you have it. That's how quick and easy it is to unfreeze your columns and rows here in the Google Sheets app, both on the iPhone and the Android. Thank you for watching this quick tutorial. Make sure to subscribe for more helpful videos and I will see you in the next one.